for the emergency services called to this industrial park in Essex. It was a horrific sight, faced with a lorry trailer full of dead bodies, 39 in total, including 10 teenagers. The Vietnamese nationals were being smuggled into the UK when that illegal operation went disastrously wrong. They were asphyxiated in the airtight refrigerated container. Now one of the ringleaders of that people's smuggling plot, Ronan Hughes, has pleaded guilty to his part in their deaths. 39 counts of manslaughter for each of the victims. The haulier from County Armagh used his lorries and his drivers to smuggle illegal immigrants across UK borders. What's really important is to remember not simply the smuggling aspect of this and the criminality that clearly was involved and there are prosecutions now, um, but to remember the people at the heart of this. 39 people lost their lives desperately trying to find somewhere safe that would give them the opportunities that they needed in their lives. A lorry driver, Eamon Harrison, who's alleged to have transported the trailer to the Belgian port of Seabrugge, has pleaded not guilty to manslaughter and facilitating illegal immigration. Another lorry driver, Maurice Robinson, who picked up the trailer at the Essex port of Purfleet, pleaded guilty to manslaughter in April. It was him who drove the trailer to the industrial estate in Greys and discovered those he'd been smuggling were dead in the back. Four men still face a criminal trial in October for their alleged part in the tragedy. It will be a harrowing and emotional case, relying in part on voicemail, text and video messages sent to loved ones by those who died as they slowly ran out of oxygen. Mark White, Sky News at the Old Bailey.